Hello, welcome to A Watchman's Journal. I'm Diana Larkin. We're going to be going over the prophetic words I heard in my journal last week from the Father, and the episode is entitled, My Countdown Has Begun. Now, that's mysterious and intriguing. It's a good day to be alive and belong to the Lord. Let's hear what he had to say to us this last week. September 28th of 2022, I heard, looking ahead, these days that you are in have been very unsettling, and you can sense more upheaval is about to happen. When you're in a season of shaking and change, it can be difficult to look ahead to the future. It is important that you allow me to speak to you about the future, because I want you to be prepared for the shaking but also for the great fulfillment of my promises to you. I want to you to imagine with me a day when the liars who propped up illegitimate power are brought down and silenced, and truth is broadcast on your airwaves. I want you to picture days of plenty as I supernaturally supply and also unlock supplies hidden by those partners of darkness. I want you to know there will be about a seven month period where nations of the world and certain areas of your nation will experience a lack. This is where my body can shine by helping meet those needs out of my supernatural supply to my body. These seven months of turbulence and great changes will result in healthier foods being grown as I supply good seed to the sower. As nations turn to seek me, my glory will fill their lands and their soil will bring forth abundant crops. Land will be taken from the evil empire and returned to my farmers who will be good stewards of my land. And I will bless them. You are witnessing leaders partnered with darkness begin to fall and be replaced with righteous leaders. Expect this to increase greatly over the next seven months of great change. Don't be afraid to look ahead and dream with me about the good changes coming to your land and to the world. So he wants us to be prepared for shaking, but also prepared for the fulfillment of the good future he has for us. So we need to look ahead with him and welcome that future in. Uh, the seven months that he speaks about, I don't think that that's all the change is going to be done in seven months. Uh, there's some prophetic voices talking about seven years uh, to bring all the justice that needs to come. So, But these seven months are going to be critical, and I think probably the most turbulent. So hang on, he's with us. All right, let's move on to September 29th of 2022, when he says, my glory is falling on you. I have spoken to you about the fall of the fall, that season when I target, expose, and bring judgment and justice to those partners of evil. You're seeing that season of their fall take place before your eyes. I never remove evil without replacing it with something from my kingdom. As you see darkness fall, watch for and receive my glory because it is falling on you. This time will be remembered for all the evil that is exposed and dealt with, but it will also be marked by a release of my glory on my people who will do exploits in my name. Recognize it is my glory that is falling, that resulted in the, it, oh, okay, recognize it is his glory that has fallen, that resulted in the focused prayers of much of the body of Christ against the storm of destruction against Florida. I don't know, didn't you feel that? I felt like there were so many people praying in unity. He goes on to say, a unified voice was raised against anything of darkness attached to the storm, and these same unified voices will bring in my restoration and healing of any losses. What a powerful force of life and light you are, my army of light, when you respond to my glory falling on you. 
These days of darkness will be eclipsed by days of my glory falling on you. Rejoice and give thanks for these days of glory. So important thing to take away from that is he never removes evil without replacing it with something from his kingdom. And the storm uh, did do damage to Florida, but I believe we lessened the power of that storm greatly. I believe it was meant to devastate many, many areas. And we do pray for recovery and complete restoration for those who sustained losses. I have a journal nugget, which is an entry from my journal from a year ago, September 29th of 2021, the bounty of my table. I have prepared a table for you in the presence of your enemies. I will require them to watch as I bless, protect, and prosper you through the coming days of exposure and radical change. Man's systems are going to fail and fall, but there's no need to fear because I take care of my own. And my provision comes from a kingdom that cannot be shaken. The evil are set to suffer great loss, but my people are set to know me in a deeper supernatural way as their provider and defender. Hallelujah. September 30th of this year, the entry for which this episode is titled, My Countdown Has Begun. My final countdown has begun against the partners of darkness, those who allied with the enemy in order to enslave you and to steal from you and to destroy you. When my countdown reaches zero, their evil empire that took centuries to build will come down in a day. It will implode from within and it will receive a massive explosion from without. It will crumble within because they will turn against each other in desperate attempts to save themselves and their evil plans to rule the world. As they crumble from within, I will strike them with my death blow, and judgment and justice will be released in fullness against them. My death blow will uncover all the hidden evil, and a cry for justice will fill your land and echo around the world. Your prayers, your tears, your declarations of my promises, your worship warfare have made a way for me to come and rescue you from the creeping darkness that was covering your land. Nothing will stop my final countdown against the darkness. You will see their destruction, their judgment, and then you will see them no more. Let the celebration begin of my power to rescue and to deliver and to rebuild, restore, and prosper. Watch all of my promises come true and know that my countdown has become. So we are to know that it is our prayers, our tears, our declarations, our worship warfare that have made a way for his rescue to come. So keep it up, Army of Light. We have a journal nugget from October 1st of last year. After judgment comes glory. When I have finished judging the wicked and evil systems they establish, I will come with my glory and it will cover all the broken places and restore them to be a blessing. Just as dramatic as the tearing down will be, so the building up in my glory will cause awe and wonder. I am promising to build back something of worth that will really make people's lives better. In the midst of coming changes, remember that my glory is coming to restore and light up your world. October 1st of this year, I heard the just and true God. You cannot separate my justice from the truth because I am the truth and my justice is always a reflection of truth because I am light with no shadow of turning. Man's justice can be swayed by bribes and prejudice, and then you have injustice in a favoring of evil motives and desires. This results in injustice for the righteous, and it promotes darkness and releases it into the atmosphere where it breeds more corruption and more death. Enough, I say, 
of this perverted justice that opens a nation to every evil thing. My very own have cried out to me for true justice to be reestablished in your land, and I am moving to answer that cry. You will see unjust judges fall, some by death, removed by uncovered scandals and exposed for their perverted lifestyles. In answer to your cries, I will raise up just and true judges who honor me and fear me. As many, many unrighteous judges are removed by my hand, these positions will be filled with my just and true judges whose hearts I have been preparing all their lives. My rescue plan is not a sudden idea. I've been planning this operation for a very long time. In fact, if you will look back on your own lives, you will realize I have been preparing you for this day when the true and just, when the just and true God arises and we take back your land together. Wow. Yes. Uh, he said, you'll see unjust judges fall, some by death. And actually a day after this word came out, a Pennsylvania Supreme Court judge was found dead. Um, so far, I haven't seen any anything details about that, but his word is coming to pass more more rapidly. <clears throat> so, um, I visited the war room on. Um, October 2nd of 2021, and the father told me that the time was nearing for the release of everything that he had promised and that we have stood in faith for. Uh, he says, your faith will soon be vindicated and great will be your peace and celebration. This delights my heart. So we need to know that it delights his heart to come rescue us. He admonishes us, tell my people not to flinch or give up at the coming implosions in the ranks of the wicked, because it's going to send out shockwaves and topple a lot of things that we depended on. But hasn't he proved his faithfulness and power to us? He tells us, throw the weight of your life and place all your dependency on me. I will display supernatural provision and healing to you. Remain focused on me, worshiping me, declaring my light is coming to overpower the darkness, and then call forth the rebuilding he has planned for us. October 2nd of 2022, you are in my new book of remembrance. Uh, Brian of the YouTube channel Love Has a Name um, read this, uh, I think last night he put it out. He did an amazing job of declaring this word. I'd recommend you go and listen to that. It will minister to your heart. It was filled with Holy Spirit. But the Father said to me, this is an appointed season for your nation to come out of darkness and death and to be reestablished in justice, righteousness, and abundant life. To which I say, hallelujah, amen, thank you. This season requires great faith and courage for my people as you have battled fierce, entrenched giants that controlled and nearly destroyed your land. You chose to believe my promises of rescue and deliverance, and you partnered with me and my host to bring down and defeat those giants. I want you to know that a special book of remembrance has started in heaven to record all your prayers, all your decrees, all your words of encouragement to one another, all your prayers in support of one another for healing, comfort, and strength. Your names are written down as faithful ones whom heaven honors. Someday in heaven, you'll be able to see this book of remembrance and recall the part you played in bringing down the darkness and calling forth life and light. Your prayers, your conversations with one another, your heartfelt worship are all recorded in heaven's book of remembrance forever. And then he led me to Malachi 3.16, which says, Then those who feared the Lord spoke to one another, and the Lord listened and heard them. So a book of remembrance was written before him for those who fear the Lord and who meditate on his name. A beautiful communities have popped up all over on social media of believers who support one another in prayer. We've become family. And that is beautiful. 
The father said on October 3rd of 2021, a journal nugget, I have seen. I have seen every sacrifice you made to be part of my army. I have seen the losses you have sustained in losing relationships and your credibility with those who do not have eyes to see or ears to hear. What I am saying in this crucial hour, you've chosen to believe me even when I meant loss and ridicule to you. I have seen you struggle with times of doubt when my promises have not yet come to pass. You chose to bring those doubts to me, lay them at my feet, and worship me until you could once again see with my eyes and hear with my heart speaking to you. I've kept track of all you have suffered and lost, and I want you to know I will redeem it all, including relationships, and I will vindicate all you said and shared in my name. I will repay, I will restore, and I will reward. Be assured, I have seen beautiful promise. October 3rd, we have an amazing word, swords drawn, eyes shining with hope. Are you ready to see the victorious end of this fierce war that you have been fighting with me and my host? Are you ready to see so much fulfillment of my promises and my prophetic words that you run out of words to express the wonder of it all? We're very near to the complete exposure and undoing of all the destructive acts, lawlessness, deep darkness, and illegal laws that those partners of evil did and plan to do in your nation. I'm declaring to you they will fall and you will rise. You will rise as the victorious army of light against a fierce darkness and deep deception, and then you will transition into sons and daughters of light who shine my light into every area of your land. Righteousness and justice will roll like a river across your land, cleansing evil and establishing strongholds of light and life. After we've won the victory and after the celebrations and cake, your next focus will be the reformation of your nation. You will be builders and restorers of light, and I will restore to you the man I chose to oversee and lead this amazing transformation process. Stay with me until you see the happy ending. This day, I tell you, keep your swords drawn and eyes shining with hope. We're going to end with two powerful journal entries, but I want to go over uh, how we're to partner with the Father from these words. Look ahead and dream with God about the good things coming. Respond to his glory falling on us by being a powerful force of life and light. Pray unified prayers against storms and darkness. We're to begin celebrating his power to rescue, deliver, rebuild, restore, and prosper us. We're not to flinch or give up as massive changes come. We're to continue our prayers, our conversations with one another, and engage in heartfelt worship. We're to stay with him until we see the happy ending. And we're to keep our swords drawn and our eyes shining with hope. October 4th of this year, my vanquishing sword. You will witness the release of my vanquishing sword. It will start blow after blow on your enemies until they're all removed from positions of power and influence. My judgment will then fall on them heavily and you'll see their dark mountains of influence collapse and become rubble. Do not be anxious about or mourn these mountains that are brought down because together we're going to rebuild mountains founded on my righteousness and justice. Remember that I can rebuild stronger and better from the rubble and that I can bring beauty from ashes. Oh. I have raised up and will bring back in his rightful position the master builder I have called to serve your nation during this rebuilding process. These are days you have been longing to see. The ones who pursued you will now be pursued. The many traps they laid for you will now spring back on them. The plans of destruction and death will blow back onto them as my vanquishing sword is now turned on them. My faithful army of light, days of great change and new life are just ahead. Hallelujah. Um, that is a beautiful word. And uh, I think quite a few words lately, he has mentioned bringing back a rightful leader, a master builder, which makes me think that it is getting closer to fulfillment.
October 5th of this year, powerful, powerful word, Lazarus, come forth. I'm asking you to join me in calling forth your dying nation back to life. Just as my son called Lazarus to come forth to life again, so I am commissioning you, my army of light, to call forth to life what seems dead, beyond repair, sick unto death, back to life and wholeness in me by the power of my son's blood. Just as I spoke to you last night, the fall of the fall has begun. We'll go over that in just a minute. But it is not enough to bring evil down. You must call forth my life and goodness and my resurrection power to fill all those places that evil ruled. You have the power of death and life in your tongue. So use it to decree death of all the evil schemes and the removal of all the darkened leadership and call forth life for your nation. Live again, freedom. Live again, righteousness. Live again, justice. As this nation rises from the ashes, you will see and declare its resurrection life all over the world. Lazarus, come forth. Wow, this is a powerful word. Um, so it's not enough that we bring evil down. We are also commissioned to call forth his life, his goodness, and his resurrection power to fill all those places that evil ruled. And he tells us that this life we call forth for our nation, we're going to send it around the world. So the rest of the world, hang on. Rescue's coming for you and life as well. So these are the declarations from that. Live again, freedom. Live again, righteousness. Live again, justice. Our nation will rise from the ashes. That is awesome news for all of us. Uh, what happened in the night to trigger this message was at 1.29 in the morning, I suddenly came like full awake because my husband's phone gave off a notification sound. Now I sleep through it most of the times, but I, I startled awake and I heard him say, the fall of the fall. So I believe it is imminent. It is upon us. We are going to experience it. So hang on, hold on, let's pray. Father of light, we thank you for your goodness, your power, the power of the blood of your son. We call forth your life and light into every area of darkness in this nation and in its people where they have believed the lies of the enemy. We call forth the truth of your good news to come and invade the land. We call forth righteousness to roll like a river and justice to be seen across this land. Strengthen us, encourage us, heal us, and empower us to walk in these days with you. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for joining me. Be blessed.